Nuar, English, or Nawari, also known as Nepal Basa, Nepala Basa is a Sino-Tibetan language spoken by the Nuar people, the indigenous inhabitants of Nepal Mandala, which consists of the Kathmandu Valley and surrounding regions in Nepal. Although, Nepal Basa, literally means, Nepalese language, the language is not the same as Nepali, Nepali, Nepali the country's current official language. The two languages belong to different language families, Sino-Tibetan and Indo-European, respectively, but centuries of contact have resulted in a significant body of shared vocabulary. Both languages have official status in Kathmandu Metropolitan City. Nuar was Nepal's administrative language from the 14th to the late 18th century. From the early 20th century until democratization, Nuar suffered from official suppression. From 1952 to 1991, the percentage of Nuar speakers in the Kathmandu Valley dropped from 75% to 44%, and today Nuar culture and language are under threat. The language has been listed as being definitely endangered by UNESCO. Name the earliest occurrences of the name Nepalabasa, or Nepalabak, can be found in the manuscripts of a commentary to the Naradasamita, dated 1380 AD, and a commentary to the Amarkosa, dated 1386 AD. Since then, the name has been used widely on inscriptions, manuscripts, documents and books. In the 1920s, the name of the language known as Kaskura, Gorkali or Parvatiya was changed to Nepali, and the language began to be officially referred to as Nawari while the Nuars continued using the original term. Conversely, the term Gorkali in the former national anthem entitled, Shreeman Gambar, was changed to Nepali in 1951. On 8 September 1995, following years of lobbying to use the old name, the government decided that the name Nepal Basa should be used instead of Nawari. However, the decision was not implemented, and on 13 November 1998, the Minister of Information and Communication issued another directive to use the name Nepal Basa instead of Nawari. However, the Central Bureau of Statistics has not been doing so. Geographic distribution Nuar is spoken by over a million people in Nepal according to the 2001 census. In Nepal, Kathmandu Valley, including Kathmandu, Lilithpur, Bhaktapur and Madhyapur Thimi municipalities, Dalaka District, Banapa, Dalikal, Bandipur, Bimfedi, Makwanpur, Panati, Palpa, Trishuli, Nuakot, Bhojpur, Chitling, Narayangar, Chitwan. In India, West Bengal. In Tibet, Kassa with an increase in emigration, various bodies and societies of Nuar-speaking people have emerged in countries such as the US, the UK, Australia, and Japan. Relationship with other Tibeto-Burman languages The exact placement of Nuar within the Tibeto-Burman language family has been a source of controversies and confusion. The linguist Warren W. Glover classified Nuar as a part of Bodic subdivision using Schaefer's terminology. Professor Van Driem classified Nuar within the Mahakaranti grouping but he later retracted his hypothesis in 2003. Moreover, he proposed a new grouping called Maha Nawari, which possibly includes Baram Thangmi. T. R. Kanzakar attributes the difficulty about the placement of Nuar to the inability of scholars to connect it with the migration patterns of the Tibeto-Burman speakers. Since Nuar separated from rest of the family very early in history, it is difficult or at least arbitrary to reconstruct the basic stratum that contributed to present-day Nuar speech. He underscored the point that the language evolved from mixed racial, linguistic influences that do not lend easily to a neat classification. A classification, based on Glover's, indicating a percentage of shared vocabulary within the labeled branch and an approximate time of split. Percent. Indicates lexical similarity, common vocabulary between Nuar and the other languages in the branch. The date indicates an approximate time when the language diverged. The Van Driem labeled this branch as Paracuranti and included it together with Kuranti branch to form Maha Kuranti group. However, he would later drop this hypothesis. All languages within this branch have extensive Indo-Aryan vocabulary. 
It is hypothesized that either ancient Indorian admixture happened before Nuar Thangni Baram split or that Thangni Baram borrowed through Nawari. History and development According to the linguist, Glover, Nawari and the Cheping language must have diverged around 2200 BC. It is estimated that Nawari shares 28% of its vocabulary with Cheping. At the same time, a very large and significant proportion of Nawari vocabulary is Indo-European in origin, by one estimate more than 50%, indicating an influence of at least 1,600 years from Indo-European languages, first from Sanskrit, Maithili, Persian, and Urdu and today from Hindi, Nepali and English. Nuar words appeared in Sanskrit inscriptions in the Kathmandu Valley for the first time in the 5th century. The words are names of places, taxes and merchandise indicating that it already existed as a spoken language during the Lichavi period approximately 400 to 750 AD. Inscriptions in Nuar emerged from the 12th century, the palm leaf manuscript from Ukubaha being the first example. By the 14th century, Nuar had become an administrative language as shown by the official proclamations and public notices written in it. The first books, manuals, histories and dictionaries also appeared during this time. The Gopalarajavamsavali, a history of Nepal, appeared in 1389 AD. From the 14th century onwards, an overwhelming number of stone inscriptions in the Kathmandu Valley, where they are a ubiquitous element at heritage sites, are in Nuar. Nuar developed as the court and state language of Nepal from the 14th to the late 18th centuries. It was the definite language of stone and copper plate inscriptions, royal decrees, chronicles, Hindu and Buddhist manuscripts, official documents, journals, title deeds, correspondence and creative writing. Records of the life cycle ceremonies of Mala royalty and the materials used were written in Nuar. The period 1505 to 1847 AD was a golden age for Nuar literature. Poetry, stories, epics, and dramas were produced in great numbers during this time which is known as the Classical Period. Since then it entered a period of decline due to official disapproval and oftentimes outright attempts to stamp it out. Nuar can be classified into the Old and New Eras. Although there is no specific demarcation between the two, the period 1846 to 1941 AD during the Rana regime is taken as the dividing period between the two. Ancient era An example of the language of the ancient period is provided by the following line from the palm leaf manuscript from Uku Baha which dates from 1114 AD. It is a general discussion of business transactions. China Dako Trisangasa Paraboga Chu Palenga Kitia Bipara Vastra Bibu Mika Tibu Madaguna Chu Sated Duganava Lai China Dako Tr Samgasa Paraboga Chu Pulanga Kitia Bipara Vastra Bivu Mika Tivu Madaguna Chu Sated Duganava Lhai Medieval Era The language flourished as an administrative and literary language during the medieval period. Noted royal writers include Mahindra Mala, Siddhi Narsingh Mala, and Jagat Prakash Mala. An example of the language used during this period is provided by the following lines from Muldev Shushidev written by Jagat Prakash Mala. Du Cheguki Pachava Vahana Du Cheguki Pachava Vahana Tilahita Bia Hina Lahati Thea Theasa Tilahita Bia Hia Lahati Thea Theasa the verse is a description of Shiva and the use of a tiger skin as his seat. Dark Age Nuar began to be sidelined after the Gorkha conquest of Nepal and the ouster of the Mala dynasty by the Shah dynasty in the late 18th century. Since then, its history has been one of constant suppression and struggle against official disapproval. Following the advent of the Shahs, the Gorkhali language became the court language, and Nuar was replaced as the language of administration. However, Nuar continued to remain in official use for a time as shown by the 1775 treaty with Tibet which was written in it. A few of the new rulers cultivated the language. Kings Prithvi Narayan Shah, Rana Bahadur and Rajendra Bikram Shah composed poetry and wrote plays in it. Nuar suffered heavily under the repressive policy of the Rana dynasty, 1846-1951 AD, when the regime attempted to wipe it out. In 1906, legal documents written in Nuar were declared unenforceable, and any evidence in the language was declared null and void. 
The rulers forbade literature in Nuar, and writers were sent to jail. In 1944, Buddhist monks who wrote in the language were expelled from the country. Moreover, hostility towards the language from neighbors grew following massive migration into the Kathmandu Valley leading to the indigenous Nuars becoming a minority. During the period 1952 to 1991, the percentage of the valley population speaking Nuar dropped from 74.95% to 43.93%. The Nepal Basa movement arose as an effort to save the language. Nepal Basa movement Nuars have been fighting to save their language in the face of opposition from the government and hostile neighbors from the time of the repressive Rana regime till today. The movement arose against the suppression of the language that began with the rise of the Shah dynasty in 1768 AD, and intensified during the Rana regime 1846-1951 and Panchayat system 1960-1990. At various times, the government has forbidden literature in Nuar, banned the official use and removed it from the media and the educational system. Opponents have even petitioned the Supreme Court to have its use barred. Activism has taken the form of publication of books and periodicals to public meets and protest rallies. Writers and language workers have been jailed or expelled from the country, and they have continued the movement abroad. The struggle for linguistic rights has sometimes combined with the movement for religious and political freedom in Nepal. Renaissance era the period between 1909 and 1941 is considered as the Renaissance era of Nuar. During this period, a few authors braved official disapproval and started writing, translating, educating and restructuring the language. Writers Nisthananda Bajracharya, Siddhidas Mahaju, Jagat Sundar Mala and Yogbur Singh Kanzakar are honored as the four pillars of Nepal Basa. Shukraraj Shastri and Dharmaditya Dharmacharya were also at the forefront of the Renaissance. In 1909, Bajracharya published the first printed book using movable type. Shastri wrote a grammar of the language entitled Nepal Basa Vyakaran, the first one in modern times. It was published from Kolkata in 1928. His other works include Nepal Basa Reader, Books 1 and 2, 1933, and an alphabet book Nepali Varnamala, 1933. Mahaju's translation of the Ramayan and books on morals and ethics, Mala. S. Endeavors to impart education in the native language and other literary activities marked the Renaissance. Dharmacharya published the first magazine in Nuar Buddha Dharma Wa Nepal Basa. Buddhism and Nepalese. From Kolkata in 1925. Also, the Renaissance marked the beginning of the movement to get official recognition for the name. Nepal Basa. In place of the Khas imposed term. Nawari. Some of the lines of Mahaju read as follows Sajana Manusya Sangadanam Murka Napam Bina Vai Sajana Manusya Samgadanam Murka Napam Bina Vai Palela Lapit Lavansa Mavati Them Lasana Vai Palela Lapit Lavamsa M Vati Them Lasana Vai The verse states that even a moron can improve with the company of good people just like a drop of water appears like a pearl when it descends upon the leaves of a lotus plant. Modern Nuar Jail years The years 1941 to 1945 are known as the jail years for the large number of authors who were imprisoned for their literary or political activities. It was a productive period and resulted in an outpouring of literary works. Chinadar Raidaya, Siddhicharan Shrestha and Fat Bahadur Singh were among the prominent writers of the period who were jailed for their writings. While in prison, Raidaya produced his greatest work Sugata Saurabha, an epic poem on the life of Gautama Buddha. Shrestha wrote a collection of poems entitled Siswan, Wax Flower, published in 1948, among other works. Singh (1902–1983) was sentenced to life imprisonment for editing and publishing an anthology of poems by various poets entitled Nepali Bihar. The efforts of Nuar authors coincided with the revival of Theravada Buddhism in Nepal, which the rulers disliked equally. In 1946, the monks who had been exiled by the Ranas in 1944 for teaching Buddhism and writing in Nuar were allowed to return following international pressure. Restrictions on publication were relaxed, and books could be published after being censored. 
The monks wrote wide-ranging books on Buddhism and greatly enriched the corpus of religious literature. Outside the Kathmandu Valley in the 1940s, poets like Ganesh Lal Shrestha of Hetauda composed songs and put on performances during festivals. The 1950s Following the overthrow of the Rana dynasty and the advent of democracy in 1951, restrictions on publication in Nuar were removed. Books, magazines and newspapers appeared. A daily newspaper Nepal Basa Patrika began publication in 1955. Textbooks were published and Nuar was included in the curriculum. Nepal Rastriya Vidyapitha recognized Nuar as an alternative medium of instruction in the schools and colleges affiliated to it. Literary societies like Nepal Basa Parasad were formed and Chawasa Pasa returned from exile. In 1958, Kathmandu Municipality passed a resolution that it would accept applications and publish major decisions in Nuar in addition to the Nepali language. Second Dark Age Democracy lasted for a brief period, and Nuar and other languages of Nepal entered a second dark age with the dissolution of parliament and the imposition of the panchayat system in 1960. Under its policy of one nation, one language, only the Nepali language was promoted, and all the other languages of Nepal were suppressed as ethnic or local languages. In 1963, Kathmandu municipality's decision to recognize Nuar was revoked. In 1965, the language was also banned from being broadcast over Radio Nepal. Those who protested against the ban were put in prison, including Buddhist monk Sudarshan Mahasthavir. The new education system plan brought out in 1971 eased out Nepal's other languages from the schools in a bid to diminish the country's multilingual traditions. Students were discouraged from choosing their native language as an elective subject because it was lumped with technical subjects. Nepal's various languages began to stagnate as the population could not use them for official, educational, employment or legal purposes. Bharat Nepal Basa Sahitya Samelan Guthi, Grand Nepal Basa Literary Conference Trust, formed in 1962 in Bhaktapur, and Nepal Basa Monka Kala, founded in 1979 in Kathmandu, are some of the prominent organizations that emerged during this period to struggle for language rights. The names of these organizations also annoyed the government which, on one occasion in 1979, changed the name of Brihat Nepal Basa Sahitya Samelan Guthi in official media reports. Some lines by the famous poet, Durga Lal Shrestha of this era are as follows. Ga Juya Yaka Kavaigu Ka G Sayagulim Sa Taigu Ka G Mazini G Mazini Degu Sim Yaka Vegu Ka We are crying because we are wounded. We are shouting because of the pain. All in all, we are demonstrating that we are not dead yet. Post-1990 People's Movement After the 1990 People's Movement that brought the Panchayat system to an end, the languages of Nepal enjoyed greater freedom. The 1990 constitution recognized Nepal as a multi-ethnic and multilingual country. The Nepali language in the Devanagari script was declared the language of the nation and the official language. Meanwhile, all the languages spoken as native languages in Nepal were named national languages. In 1997, Kathmandu Metropolitan City declared that its policy to officially recognize Nepal Basa would be revived. The rest of the city governments in the Kathmandu Valley announced that they too would recognize it. However, critics petitioned the Supreme Court to have the policy annulled, and in 1999, the Supreme Court quashed the decision of the local bodies as being unconstitutional. Post-2006 People's Movement A second people's movement in 2006 ousted the Shah dynasty and Nepal became a republic which gave the people greater linguistic freedom. The 2007 interim constitution states that the use of one's native language in a local body or office shall not be barred. However, this has not happened in practice. Organizations with names in Nuar are not registered, and municipality officials refuse to accept applications written in the language. The restoration of democracy has been marked by the privatization of the media. Various people and organizations are working for the development of Nuar. 
Nuar has several newspapers, a primary level curriculum, several schools, several FM stations, selected time for Nuar programs, regular TV programs and news on Image TV channel, Nepal Basa Music Award, a part of Image Award, and several websites, including a Wikipedia in Nepal Basa. The number of schools teaching Nuar has increased, and Nuar is also being offered in schools outside the Kathmandu Valley. Outside Nepal Mandala Inscriptions written in Nuar occur across Nepal Mandala and outside. In Gorkha, the Bhairav Temple at Pokharithik Bazaar contains an inscription dated Nepal Sambat 704, 1584 AD, which is 185 years before the conquest of the Kathmandu Valley by the Gorkha Kingdom. The Palanchauk Bhagawati Temple situated to the east of Kathmandu contains an inscription recording a land donation dated Nepal Sambat 861, 1741 AD, in Bhojpur in East Nepal, an inscription at the Bidyadari Ajima Temple dated Nepal Sambat 1011, 1891 AD, records the donation of a door and tympanum. The Bindyabasini Temple in Bandipur in West Nepal contains an inscription dated Nepal Sambat 950, 1830 AD, about the donation of a tympanum. Outside Nepal, Nuar has been used in Tibet. Official documents and inscriptions recording votive offerings made by Nuar traders have been found in Lhasa. A copper plate dated Nepal Sambat 781, 1661 AD, recording the donation of a tympanum is installed at the shrine of Chaskamini Ajima, Tibetan, Paldan Lamo, in the Jokhang Temple. Literature Nuar literature has a long history. It has the one of the oldest literature of the Sino-Tibetan languages, together with Chinese, Tibetan, Tangut, Burmese, Yi, etc. Drama Dramas are traditionally performed in open dabu, stage. Most of the traditional dramas are tales related to deities and demons. Masked characters and music are central elements to such dramas. Most of them are narrated with the help of songs sung at intervals. Such dramas resemble dance in many cases. The theme of most dramas is the creation of a social well-being with morals illustrating the rise, turbulence, and fall of evil. There is fixed dates in the Nepal Sambat, Nepal era, calendar for the performance of specific drama. Most of the dramas are performed by specific guthas. Poetry Poetry writing constituted a pompous part of medieval Mala aristocracy. Many of the kings were well-renowned poets. Siddhidas Mahaju and Chittadar Raideya are two great poets in the language. Prose fiction Prose fiction in Nuar is a relatively new field of literature compared to other fields. Most fiction was written in poetry form until the medieval era. Consequently, almost all prose fiction belongs to the modern Nuar era. Collections of short stories in Nuar are more popular than novels. Story The art of verbal storytelling is very old in Nuar. There are a variety of mythical and social stories that have aided in establishing the norm of Kathmandu Valley. Stories ranging from the origin of Kathmandu Valley to the temples of the valley and the important monuments have been passed down verbally in Nuar and very few exist in written form. However, with an increase in the literacy rate and an awareness among the people, folklore stories are being written down. Stories on other topics are also becoming popular. Dialects. Kanzakar 2011 recognizes three main Nuar dialect clusters. Western, Tansan, Palpa, Butwal, Old Pokhara, Dumra, Bandipur, Ridi, Gulmi, Baglung, Dotali, Silgada Central, Kathmandu, Lalithpur, Bhaktapur, Thimi, Kurtapur, Sitling, Lele, Balaju, Toka, Farping, Thangkot, Dadakot, Balami, Gopali, Bungamati, Badagon, Payangon, Chapagon, Lubu, Sankhu, Chakhunti, Gamsa Gorka, Badakal, Pahari, Karpalanchok District Dialects, Banapa, Nala, Sanga, Chakat, Panati, Dalikal, Duti, Kampu, Kopasi Eastern, Champer, Daran, Dalaka, Sindupalchok, Tapaljung, Turhatham, Bojpur, Dongkuda, Narayangad, Japa, Ilamkansakar 2011 also gives the following classification of Nuar dialects based on verb conjugation morphology. Central 
Kathmandu, Lalitpur, Kurtapur, Chitling, Lele, Bhaktapur, Thimi, Eastern, Dalaka, Tauthali, Jethal, Listakot, Dodi, Pahari, Badakal, the main dialects of Nuar are Dolkali, Dalaka. This is the most preserved form of the language and resembles the old Nuar. Sindhu Palchak Pari This dialect, also known as Pari or Pahari, is found in the Sindhu Palchak district of central Nepal. It is similar vocabulary as the Yala subdialect of Yen Yala Kayapu dialect. However, the language is spoken with a Tamung language tone. Chitling this dialect is used in Chitling, a place south of Kathmandu Valley in Makawanpur district. This is one of the biggest Nuar bastions at Chitling. Balami caste predominates there. Recently a new committee named Balami Samaj has been established to give an identity rather than Nuar but as the government has categorized Balami as Nuar, this attempt fails. Kathmandu Kathmandu dialect is one of the dominant form of language and very close to the standard form of language used in academics and media. It is also the most widely used dialect. It is especially spoken in Kathmandu. It is very similar to the Lalitpur dialect. Lalitpur Lalitpur dialect is the most dominant form of language and is the standard form of language used in academics and media. It is also very widely used dialect. It is especially spoken in Lalitpur. Bhaktapur Also known as Kavapa Bay Kavapa, Bay this dialect is more archaic than the standard. Variations exist in the use of this form of language in Bhaktapur, Banapa, Panati, and Dalikal. Religious registers Religions play a register-like role in dialectical diversity though they are minor. It has been recorded from the Mala period. Hinduism and Buddhism were present at that age and few words in Hinduism and Buddhism of Nuar differs. With the recent growth of Christianity, Islam, other religions, and atheism in Nepal, the diversity in the speech registers regarding religious terminology has become more extended, such as omitting the word Daya, Daya, God. After the name of a deity by many people whereas it is retained in Hinduism and Buddhism. For example, Lord Ganesha is said as Ganadiya, Ganadiya by Hindus and Buddhists but only Gain, Gain by other people. Writing systems Nuar is now almost always written in the Devanagari script. The script originally used, Nepal Lipi or Nepalese script fell into disuse at the beginning of the 20th century when writing in the language and the script was banned. Nepal Lipi, also known as Nepal Akka, emerged in the 10th century. Over the centuries, a number of variants of Nepali Lipi have appeared. Nepal has been written in a variety of Abugida scripts Brahmi script, Gupta script, Kutila script. Prakalit script, Ranjana script, Bujinmal script, Kunmal script, Quenmal script, Latumal script, Hinmal script, Golmal script, Pachumal script. Devanagari script Devanagari is the most widely used script at present, as it is common in Nepal and India. Ranjana script was the most widely used script to write classical Nepalese in ancient times. It is experiencing a revival due to the recent rise of cultural awareness. The Prakalit script is also in use. All used to write Nepal but Devanagari are descended from a script called the Nepal script. Ranjana alphabet Classical Nepalese materials written in Ranjana can be found in present-day Nepal, East Asia, and Central Asia. Consonants Special consonant in Nepal omitted. 
Vowels There are three series of vowel diacritics, the ka-like system, the a-like system, and the ba-like system. Use the ka like system when applying to ka, d, a, m, a, h, a, ka, and d, a. Use the a like system when applying to a, k, a, 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 t, a, d, a, and a. Use the ba like system when applying to ba, a, a, t, a, t, a, d, a, 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 ta, da, na, n, ha, pa, pia, ba, bia, ma, ya, ra, hra, la, l, ha, ba, bia, a, sa, ha, t, r, ha. Note that many of the consonants mentioned above, e.g., b, a, 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 etc., occur only in loan words and mantras. Consonant free vowels Numerals the numerals used in Ranjana script are as follows from 0 to 9. Devanagari orthography Modern Nuar is written generally with the Devanagari script, although formerly it was written in the Ranjana and other scripts. The letters of the Nagari alphabet are traditionally listed in the order vowels, monophthongs and diphthongs, anasvara and visarga, stops, plosives and nasals, starting in the back of the mouth and moving forward, and finally the liquids and fricatives, written in IAST as follows. See the tables below for details. A A I I U U R R L L E I O O M H K K H G G H N C C H J J H N U T D N T T H D D H N P P H B B H M Y R L V S S S H Kathmandu Nuar does not use new for the palatal nasal but instead writes this sound with the ligature N Y as for example in the word Naya. 5. Orthographic vowel length represents a difference of vowel quality, and in fact vowel length is indicated with the visarga after the vowel and e.g. ka is, and with other vowels is written with the independent vowel letter, which would not be permitted e.g. in Sanskrit, for example mhii, ga, day after tomorrow. Vowels The vowels, called ma akka, ma ka meaning, mother letters, used in nuar are, even though r, r, l, l are present in nuar, they are rarely used. Instead, some experts suggest including I, I and I a, a, y, in the list of vowels. Consonants The consonants, called ba akka, ba ka meaning father letters, used in nuar are na na ma haya her wa la and ba are sometimes included in the list of consonants as they have a specific identity in Nepal. The use of na and nya was very common in the old form of language. However, in the new form, especially in writing, the use of these characters has diminished. The use of na, ta da 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 na sa sa ka sa tra jnya is limited by the new grammar books to the loan words only. Complex, compound consonants Besides the consonants mentioned above, combined consonants called china aka, china aka are used. Numerals The same numericals in Devnagari are Grammar Nuar language is one of the few Tibeto-Burman languages with occlusivity distinction. Sentence structure Statement sentence This language is a SOV subject -object -verb language. For instance, my name is Bilat Bharat. Is J I G U Na Bilat Ka, which word by word translation becomes my J I G U name Na Bilat is Ka. Interrogative sentence. W H question. In the case of Nuar language, W H questions are rather G questions. Wit. When, which. Being replaced by. Gubli, gugu. Respectively. There is an additional. Guli. Which is used for. How much, how many. A.S. word. Su. Is used for. Who. Chu, sku. With a silent s. Is used for. What. 
and gathi is used for how affixes suffix cha and ju are two popular suffixes cha is added to signify junior or lesser but when added to a name it is used derogatorily for example kya a cha means nephew where cha is being added to kya a son when added to name like barat for barat cha it is being used derogatorily the suffix ju is added to show respect for example ba ju means father in law where ju is added to ba father unlike cha ju is not added to a first last name directly instead honorific terms like baju is added for males and meiju for females example barat baju for a male name barat and suja meiju for a female name suja prefix tapa is added to denote remote or distant relative distance in relationship irrespective of spatial extent a distant younger brother kija becomes tapa kija t u h is added to denote higher father ba s senior brother is referred to as t u h ba indo-aryan loanwords Nuar is one of the most Aryanized Sino-Tibetan languages. Below are some basic words borrowed from Indo-Iranian languages. The Nuar language and the Nuar community Nepal Basa is the native language of Nuars. Nuars from a very diverse community with people from Sino-Tibetan, Asi and Ani origin. Nuars follow Hinduism and Buddhism, and are subdivided into 64 castes. The language, therefore, plays a central unifying role in the existence and perpetuation of the Nuar community. The poet Siddhidas Mahaju concluded that the Nuar community and its rich culture can only survive if the Nuar language survives. Basa Mavasa Jati Relative to many other languages of Nepal, Nuar enjoyed promotions in various areas since Kathmandu became the capital of the country, as the Nuar community rose in ranks throughout the government, royal courts and businesses. Nuar faced a decline during the Shah era when this language was replaced by Khas Kura, later renamed Nepali, as the national language and after the introduction of the One Nation, One Language policy of King Mahendra. The then royal Nepalese government spent a lot for Sanskrit education and a Sanskrit university was approved during those times. Although Sanskrit is virtually not spoken by anyone in Nepal, because Khas Kura's roots lie in Sanskrit. There were very few resources available then for even primary level education in Nuar. There were no programs broadcast in Nuar on the state radio, Radio Nepal. Even after programs in Nuar began to be broadcast, the language was referred to as Nuari, a term considered derogatory by Nuars. Even today, there are no programs in Nuar in the state television, Nepal television, although it broadcasts a Bollywood Hindi movie every Saturday, although it is used as lingua franca in Terai, Hindi is the native language of less than 1% population in Nepal, and often Pakistani serials, in Urdu, as well. The Supreme Court of Nepal has also banned any use of Nuar even for trivial matters in official purposes of any part of Nepal. These factors have led to a resentment among the Nuar community. This fact has been used for political advantages by many parties of Nepal. Many slogans are translated into Nuar, although very few important documents of political parties are ever translated into Nuar. See also Languages of Nepal Nepal Basa Journalism Nawa Unicode Block References Further reading 
Bendix, E., 1974, Indo-Aryan and Tibeto-Burman contact is seen through Nepali and Nawari verb tenses, International Journal of Dravidian Linguistics 3.1, 42-59 1992, The Grammaticalization of Responsibility and Evidence, The Interactional Potential of Evidential Categories in Nawari, in J. Hill and J. T. Irvine, eds. Responsibility and Evidence in Oral Discourse, Cambridge, Cambridge University Press. Driam, G. Van, 1993, The Nuar Verb in Tibeto-Burman Perspective, Acta Linguistica Hafniensia 26-23-43. Genetti, C., 1988, A Syntactic Correlate of Topicality in Nawari Narrative, in S. Thompson and J. Heyman, eds. Clause Combining in Grammar and Discourse, Philadelphia, John Benjamins, 1994, A Descriptive and Historical Account of the Dalakanawari Dialect, Monumenta Serendica 24, Institute for the Study of Languages and Cultures of Asia and Africa, Tokyo, Tokyo University of Foreign Studies. Hale, A., 1973, On the Form of the Verbal Basis in Nawari, in Braj Kachru et al., eds. Issues in Linguistics, Papers in Honor of Henry and Rene Kahane, Urbana, IL, University of Illinois Press, 1980, Person Markers, Finite Conjunct and Disjunct Forms in Nawari, in R. Trail, ed., Papers in Southeast Asian Linguistics 7, Pacific Linguistics Series A, No. 53, Canberra, Australian National University. 1985, Noun Phrase Form and Cohesive Function in Nawari, in U. People and G. Stickel, eds., Studia Linguistica Diachronica et Synchronica, Berlin, Mouton de Gruyter, 1986, User's Guide to the Nawari Dictionary, in T. Manandar, ed., Nawari English Dictionary, Delhi, Agam Kala Precaution. 1994, Entailed Kin Reference and Nawari MHA, paper presented to the 27th International Conference on Sino-Tibetan Languages and Linguistics, Paris, France. Hale, A. and Mahandar, T., 1980, Case and Role in Nawari, in R. Trail, ed., Papers in Southeast Asian Linguistics 7, Pacific Linguistics Series A, No. 53, Canberra, Australian National University. Hargreaves, D., 1986, Independent Verbs and Auxiliary Functions in Nawari Proceedings of the 12th Annual Meeting of the Berkeley Linguistics Society 12-401-12, 1991, The Conceptual Structure of Intentional Action, Data from Kathmandu Nawari, Proceedings of the 17th Annual Meeting of the Berkeley Linguistics Society 17-379-89 1996, From Interrogation to Topicalization, PTB Asterisk La in Kathmandu Nuar, Linguistics of the Tibeto-Burman Area 19.2, 31-44. Georgensen, H. 1931, A Dictionary of the Classical Nawari, Det. KGL, Dansky Videnskabern Selskab, Historisk Philologiski Metalelser 23.1 1941, A Grammar of the Classical Nawari, Det. KGL, Dansky Videnskabern Selskab, Historisk Philologiski Metalelser 27.3 Yosh, L.K., 1992, NS1112, NEP percent LBH percent M percent Y percent BH percent M percent Vine percent Nika Vyakarana, a linguistic grammar OFNEP percent LBH percent MA, Nuar, Kathmandu, Lakul Publications. Kanzakar, T.R., 1982, Morphophonemics of the Nawari Verb, in T.R. Kanzakar, ed., Occasional Papers in Nepalese Linguistics 12-29. Linguistic Society of Nepal Publication No. 1, Lalitpur, Nepal. 1997, The Nuar Language, A Profile, New Percent H. Vine Percent Na, Journal of Nuar Studies 1.1, 11-28. Culver, U. 1976, Satstipen und Verb Subkategorisierung der Nawari, Structura 10, Munich, Fink Verlag. 1977, Nominalization and Lexicalization in Nawari, Arbeiten des Kölner Universalen Projects 30. 
Kolber, U. and Shrestakarya, I. 1994, A Dictionary of Contemporary Nawari, Bonn, B. G. H. Wissenschaftsverlag, Manandar, T. 1986, Nawari English Dictionary, Delhi, Agam Kala Prakashan. Mala, K. P., 1982, Classical Nawari Literature, A Sketch, Kathmandu, Educational Enterprise Private. Limited. 1985, The Nawari Language, A Working Outline, Monumenta Serendica No. 14, Institute for the Study of Languages and Cultures of Asia and Africa, Tokyo, Tokyo University of Foreign Studies. Shakia, B.R. 1992, Nominal and Verbal Morphology in Six Dialects of Nawari, Unpublished Master's Thesis, University of Oregon. Shrestha, Uma 1990, Social Networks and Code Switching in the Nuar Community of Kathmandu City, Unpublished Ph.D. Dissertation, Ball State University. Shreshtacharya, I, 1976, Some Types of Reduplication in the Nawari Verb Phrase, Contribution to Nepalese Studies 3.1, 117-27 1981, Nawari Root Verbs, Biblioteca Himalayaka 2.1, Kathmandu, Ratna Pustak Bandar. External links Michael Noonan, Recent Language Contact in the Nepal Himalaya, PDF. Nawari, Ranjana script page on Omniglot Online Nepal Basa Dictionary Type in Nepali Unicode in Nepal Basha, 